Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Right, so beautiful spring day today. It's only nine o'clock in the morning and it is just, it's warm, loving it. So crispy out here. Now, start of the video, I was fixing some divots in the lawn from where I was swinging a golf club, which is so silly. Um, but as you can see here, there's quite a few spots all around here. You can sort of see an indent there, but they are nice big bare spots, but I've just used the divot tool to fix them up and it works really, really well. So this is just a, where is it? Divot tool here for when you're playing golf, when you hit your ball into the green and get a divot. Um, but yeah, really good to use at home. So here, a little tip there. Now let me just show you. Um, I've got a spot just here, as you can see, that I put some roundup down because there was a little bit of cooch grass just there. Yeah, but look at this. This is a bit of a big spot, so we're not gonna completely cover it in. All I'm doing is pushing the grass around it into a smaller area like this, as you can see. So it just loosens up the soil as well. And it just hides your little bare spots like that. Handy little tip. Now you can go, you can go from wider out to push some more soil in like this. And as you can see, that looks a lot better than it did before. So there's still a little bit of dead stuff in there which we could just rake out or something or pick out. See that? It's just coming out now. And you seriously, that looks so much better than it did 10 seconds ago. So really handy little tip. If you've got some bare spots you've hit with Roundup or a weed's died off and there's a bit of a hole there, get yourself a little divot tool. Screwdriver will work as well. It's gonna push it in and push the soil and turf around it to that bare spot there. So we're gonna get straight into this mow today. This mow has been back lap lapped in my video the other day, so ready to cut, set at 15 mil. We're gonna give this lawn a nice crisp cut today. I'm so keen, man. Gave it a rotary cut on the weekend, and it just never looks quite as tidy when you do a rotary cut, but the lawn still looks good, and it's just I can tell I've missed a couple of spots here and there, so let's start this bad boy up. Let's get a cut on. Tell you what, that was one of my favourite mows. Love an early morning mow, even though it was a little bit dewy. Second cut was nice because it was a lot drier. But man, look at that, bro. Looks so crisp. Still a little bit of power about, but stuff here, don't even care. Lawn is looking schmick as now. I cut hardly anything off today because I put some Primo down last week or some plant growth regulator. Um, and I mate, tell you what, mate, love that stuff. Like, it's the best, the best lawn, the less. What am I saying? The best mo, there we go, is when you basically cut nothing off and it just looks crisp afterwards a lot. Love it. I'd rather cut nothing off than heaps off. It just feels so much better, so much more enjoyable. When you're cutting heaps off, you're continuously emptying the catcher and it's just a pain in the bum. It's not fun. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Just a quick mowing video for today, just because that's what I was doing. Um, lawn's looking really, really good as I said. We'll probably get some liquid fertilizer down soon. Then I'm gonna get some granular fertilizer down in the next week or two as well on top of that. Um, the colour's still pretty good, I'll tell you what, but there has been a dog or a cat or something doing a little wheeze on my lawn in a couple of areas. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's a little dark spot there, a little dark spot there, a couple of dark spots through here, and then they've done one here and actually burnt my lawn and there's a dark green patch around it, so. I think it's a cat, because I see it on the security camera at night, cruising around on the lawn, little turd. Of a thing that rips all the bark chip out of the garden beds. 
a rascal. Yeah, quick little update on the green. It's looking good. Pretty stoked with the colour, how thick it is. I mean, mate. And that's at 5 mil. So I'll do a video in a couple of days. I'm going to take it down to 4 mil. I'm going to try to do it with the Swarbon, otherwise, we'll just use the Toro Greensmaster. But yeah, looking really nice. Starting to actually putt pretty pure as well, since I've been cutting it in so many different directions. Um, yeah, mate, I just love this time of year. So good. Anyway, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm actually going to Brenton's house on Friday to do some lawn runners at his house. So Brenton, which is the Aussie lawn. If you guys haven't checked his channel, make sure you do. I'll put a link down below and you guys can subscribe to him so you can see the videos that we're doing at his house, which will probably be out next week. Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. Thought I'd show you this if you stuck around. Um, on Saturday, I did, as I said, I did some mowing with the rotary mower across the lawn. So that's why I did a cut today which is two days afterwards, just to get it a little bit crisper and a little bit lower. Um, but I edged the garden edging with my blade edger, and man, it looks crisp. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That looks seriously so tidy. Man. I've never done that before, and it looks so good. Plants are starting to look good. Roses I trimmed back a couple of weeks ago, because everyone was harassing me, um, and they've already grown up to that, which is just insane. Um, I'm gonna start probably plant some more plants in here in the next couple of days as well, just to get some nice color up back here. Anyway, please.